So for case two, first we will also choose the system function menu, choose the type of the question. It's question number 10. Then start. Choose the second last one. So number ten. So leakage of the air cooler. Start this scenario. Okay this and we go first we go to the accidents confirmation page select this one leakage of primary tower overhead air cooler and submit to report the accident then we return back um, when the air cooler leak occurs the temperature will not be reduced to the desired temperature. So first we will notify the heat reduction control. Then we will close the pre-flash tower overhead valve XV213. Enlarge. Then we close the outlet valve XV214. Two one four of the pre flash tower overhead air cooler and report to the chief operator that the inlet and outlet valves of the pre flash tower air cooler have been closed. Then we will close the pre uh, the outlet valve XV219 of the pre flash tower overhead pump P21. So next we will close the pre-flash tower overhead pump 2102. Switch off. And close the inlet valve XV218 of the pre-flash tower overhead pump P2102. And report to chief operator that the pre-flash tower overhead P2102 has stopped. Then we will turn off the pre flash tower overhead air cooler fan EA2101. Switch off and report to chief operator that the pre flash tower overhead air cooler fan has stopped and the leak has been isolated. Notify the equipment maintenance department to repair the leak of the primary tower overhead air cooler. So that's all for this case. Section function menu to cancel this scenario. Stop the instruction. Okay. Then stop. So here we can see the mark is totally 11 mark and it's full mark. And that's all.